Hello everyone, welcome back again. Today I'm going to try to make this truck look a little bit nicer. I'm going to buff it out today and hopefully get a little bit of shine out of this paint. Um, I've never buffed a vehicle before, so this is going to be an interesting experiment. I'll start on the roof. That way if I screw anything up, I can quit and very few people will be able to see it. But uh, hopefully it'll turn out nice today and uh, look a little bit nicer when I'm done. So let's get started on this project. And uh, we're only going to film a little bit of it because obviously you don't want to see three hours of me buffing a truck. So I'll just film a little bit and uh, show you the finished results when it's all done. So stick around and we'll get going. Well guys, I just want to let you know what I'm doing and I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I'm using two buffing pads. Uh, the first one that I'm hitting it with is getting pretty gunked up with uh, you know, a lot of the paint coming off. Um, I did try the screwdriver trick where you spin it up, run your screwdriver to try to clean it out, but it's working okay doing that, but not the best. So I'm switching over for a second time. Uh, the second time I buff it out, I'm hitting it with a clean pad and that seems to really be shining it up nice and taking any swirl marks off. So I just want to give you that little tip. Uh, again, I've never done this before. This is what's working for me. Uh, your mileage may vary. So let's get back to it. Here's the front fender, which I have not done yet. I did do the hood and the door. And then we'll take you to the rear fender of the bed. What a difference. And that took me probably maybe 20 minutes to do. That paint really cleaned up for being 50 years old. The only downside I can see is that now you can see all the imperfections in the bed sides much easier, but we'll, we'll deal with that. And there's a shot side by side. And the bed was probably as bad hazed over as the door, maybe a little worse. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Let me get the rest of the truck done and then I'll pull it outside to show you some shots. So I rolled the truck outside just to get a little bit better lighting. 
wanted to give you a before shot. Hope you can see it well with the sun. But this is the side that has not been done yet. And let me take you around to the passenger side, which is done. Terrible lighting on, from this angle. Let me get up towards the front. There we go. So this side is finished. And I think it turned out pretty darn good. Now this fender has been worked on previously to me owning it. So I knew that this paint, this front fender has been repainted and they didn't do the best of work, but we're gonna leave it for now. It all buffed out pretty good. And actually it's got some nice, nice uh, reflection and shine to it there. Well, we got it all finished up and turned out pretty darn good sun's starting to go down a bit so i wanted to get a little filming done show you both sides before it's uh too dark out to show you looks a heck of a lot better than what it did when i started Sorry for the shaky screen. I'm just walking around here doing a quick walk around. Take uh, three. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, overall, I think it turned out real good. I'm very happy with the results. Um, what I used was Meguiar's number nine. Uh, Dan recommended it. Uh, the reason he recommended this one was it's a little bit less cutting than some of the other compounds. And we were a little concerned about the paint being 54 years old. Uh, I didn't want to burn through it in a bunch of spots. Not that it would make much difference, but still you wanted to have it turn out the best we can. As you can see, it turned out pretty good overall. I'm very happy with it. I've got a nice shine to it. Um, I hope it lasts a while. I hope I don't have to revisit this and do it again too soon. We'll see how that goes. I'll probably put a layer of wax on it, um, maybe in the next week or two, I'll do a coat of wax on it to maybe help protect it. Um, overall, it took me about three to four hours to complete. Uh, that was with a run to O'Reilly's because I ran out of some of the compound. Uh, I don't know if I was using too much of it, but um, Better to be a little bit extra than be short on it, I guess. Um, I would definitely recommend you guys try this on your own vehicles if you haven't uh, ever buffed a car before. Maybe stay away from a car with a nicer paint job because you don't want to burn through the clear coat or anything like that. But uh, for an old uh, rig like this, don't be afraid to get out that buffer and try hitting it yourself and see what you can do. So as always, I appreciate you guys spending a little bit of your day with me. Thanks for watching. You all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.